Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. This article I found in Barbados today, and it was for June. Today is the 8th day of June. It's Thursday, 2023. It talks about, in part, for the most part, it, talk, it is talking about the beef between Natalie and Sherry and Norris. These are two females that live in Barbados. And for me, when I see Natalie in her videos, I see Natalie in her videos. When I see Sherry Ann Norris in her videos, I see Sherry Ann Norris in her videos. And sometimes I think that it's really um, not good what I'm seeing. But I read this particular article. I read this particular article and although it is not an article to explain away anything that is being done between these two women, it doesn't it doesn't sway um, anything in one way or the other as to the beef between these two females. But what it did was it showed it showed me that Everyone has their good sense, you know. Every person has their good sense, abilities about them. And the part, one part of this particular article is dealing with young women who don't want to be saddled with babies. 18, 20, sometimes 25 years, you have to dedicate to get that child on its feet and away from you. And sometimes kids live with their moms or dads until they're 50. They, they, they don't plan to move out. And you're straddled by something that you may have done, mistake, a uh, oops, a uh, uh, or something not planned for, something you planned for, but you could not imagine the monumental um the monumental amount of time, energy, money, your emotions, the impact if, of that decision is monumental. It's monumental. And reading this particular article about Sherry Ann and Natalie, that beef that they have between them, I really think they should squash it. I really think they should squash that beef between them and teach young women because i think they're i think that especially sherry ann she when she talks about money you know i think that women should have money and independence i think that women should have money and they should have independence they should not depend on a male so that part is something to be embraced yeah, it's abrasive. I could be abrasive. Ab abrasive. People could say that I am very abrasive at times. Yeah, I could say, well, I'm not that bad. But who's who's measuring what at this time? I'm not measuring anything at this particular time. It is what it is. But when I read articles, I try to understand where the writer is coming from. And I feel as though this particular writer did a good job because although you may not like the videos, you, you may not like Sherry Ann's videos, you, you may not like Natalie's videos, it is still a message that comes over that these are women that are putting food on the, the table. They're putting food, well, Natalie is putting food in her kid's mouth and Sherry Ann is thinking about securing her her future with money she is looking out for number one she's looking out for herself and she wants to have enough money to do so so there's a message there's a message no matter how it's being delivered there is a message and i have to look at these two women differently from now on going forward because we are all uh work in progress you know, we all have to, you know, sometimes some things we see or hear, it could be so because we are older and, you know, and whatever else, you know, whatever else comes into play. 
but we have to try to open our minds and we have to try to grow and you have to say like the old people say you're never too old to learn so you we kind of have to adjust ourselves ourselves for the young people but suffice to say that i think that sherry ann and natalie should squash the beef and i also think that sherry ann is on the right path of wanting to be independent wanting to be able to support herself and i also think that natalie is um showing a way that even though she is doing what she does she still is a mom and she still is providing food and trying to you know take care of her kids there's a message there's a message no matter how you look at it not everyone is supposed to live like me or you or whatever people everyone is going to chart their own course and we have to keep our minds open what that is what this particular article did for me it showed me that I too have to keep my mind open and not be so judgmental when I see these videos coming out and I'm thinking, oh my God, stop being so judgmental and try to see the message. This is Share Veronica.